Hi everybody, I'm Skylar with Spokane's Interfaith Council, and today we're in the Perry District visiting Spokane's Shin Buddhist Temple for a Sunday service. So let's go in and check it out. Shin Buddhism, or Jodo Shinshu, is most widely practiced in Japan and is a branch of Mahayana Buddhism. In 1945, it made its way into Spokane with the founding of the temple by prisoners of a nearby Japanese internment camp. In 1965, they moved into the Perry District, but unfortunately, the temple was destroyed in an arson fire in 1992. Two years later, the building was reconstructed into the Perry District Temple that we see today. The service is conducted in the Hondo, or the main hall. The ringing of the Kansho, a ceremonial bell, signifies the beginning of the service. This is followed by a time of quiet meditation, after which there's a time for announcements and meditative chanting. The chants come from the sutras, which are the Buddhist teachings. A copy can be found in front of your seats. It is important to treat the text with respect, so avoid placing it on the floor or keeping it beneath you. The sutras are sung in unison in a Japanese pronunciation of the Chinese text. The purpose of the chants is to quiet the mind. Although the comprehension isn't the focus, an English translation is provided. Uh, we chant uh, in a different language, uh, so you're not chanting in English. During the service, we'll be chanting. Now, you don't know what it means to chant, but that's okay. But it's understood that this is kind of a symbolic gesture of listening to the Dharma. A message is then given either by the minister's assistant or another member of the Sangha. The message may be on a range of subjects, but will always be relevant to the Dharma or the Buddhist teachings. I would say the purpose of the service is to listen, listen to the Dharma. It's just as simple as that. So that means that the Dharma talk is kind of a centerpiece of the service. Depending on the Sunday that they come is going to kind of depend on uh, how serious or how playful that message might be. Uh, I definitely recommend that you come more than once because uh, every service is just a tiny bit different. The service is concluded with Oshoko, the burning of incense. The incense is a symbolic reminder of our transient existence. This is an opportunity to show respect and gratitude for the Buddha's teachings. On this particular Sunday, we took part in the Shotsuki Hoyo, which is a special ceremony dedicated to remembering those who have passed away. To participate, you first take a pinch of incense and place it in the burner. Then you wrap your hands together with the nenju, or the thought beads, and you bow your head in a symbol of respect. This position is called gasho. Extra nenju are provided for guests to use. Once the service is over, food and beverages are served. While not a strict part of the Buddhist tradition, the temple uses this time to celebrate and come together as a community. This is a great time to socialize and ask questions. Members of the Sangha here in the Perry District are friendly and hospitable. They're actually a big part of what makes Spokane the welcoming community that it is. People here are very happy to answer any question visitors might have and will welcome you in with open arms. Until next time, I'm Skylar Oberst reminding you to meet your neighbors.